so here we will perform signal addition and uh, subtraction on these two signals x1t and x2t which are basically rectangular pulse functions with different amplitude here it is 1 here it is 2 here the duration is from minus 3 to plus 3 here it is from minus 10 to plus 10 we will perform both signal addition and subtraction so first we will perform signal addition so the duration it will be from same minus 10 to plus 10 ok the important points are these minus 3 plus 3 ok so this is x1 t plus x2 t ok so here the signal exists in between minus 3 and plus 3 with amplitude 1 here the signal exists in between minus 10 to plus 10 with amplitude 2 so in between this duration from minus 10 to minus 3 and plus 3 to plus 10 x1 t is 0 ok from minus 10 to minus 3 and plus 3 to plus 10 the value is in between them it is 0 x1 t is 0 and only x2 t is there amplitude 2 so in between these two intervals minus 10 to minus 3 and plus 3 to 10 the value of the signal will be 0 plus 2 which will be 2 ok 2 which is this and here also it is this now in between minus 3 to plus 3 it is 1 and here also in between let's say minus 3 let this point is plus 3 the signal value is 2 so here the values will get added up it will be 1 plus 2 which is 3 so in between minus 3 to plus 3 it is 1 this is 2 1 plus 2 it will be 3 ok so this is the shape of the signal x1 t plus x2 t ok so this is how you have to do it two rectangular pulse functions this is of amplitude 1 this is for 2 from minus 3 to minus 10 and from plus 3 to plus 10 x1 t is 0 so it was just 0 plus 2 just 2 then in between minus 3 to plus 3 x1 t is 1 and this is minus 3 to plus 3 it is 2 so 1 plus 2 3 between these two durations so we got the x signal x1 t plus x2 t now let us perform x1 t minus x2 t so here we will perform x1 t minus x2 t we will determine that so the same principle so we have to consider the amplitude at the respective instance now again from minus 10 to minus 3 and from plus 3 to plus 10 x1 t is 0 ok and only x2 t is there so in between that it will be 0 from minus 10 and here up to plus 10 so it will be 0 up to this here is 2 so 0 minus 2 it will be minus 2 ok minus 2 here from minus 10 to minus 3 and plus 3 to plus 10 minus 2 then from minus 3 to plus 3 the amplitude of x1t is 1 
here from minus 3 to plus 3 the amplitude of x2 t is 2. So in between this interval when we subtract we perform subtraction x1 t minus x2 t it is 1 minus 2 which is minus 1. Okay. So here it is minus 1 in between minus 3 to plus 3 minus 1 this is minus 1 so this is the shape of the signal x1 t minus x2 t from minus 10 to minus 3 it is 0 from plus 3 to plus 10 x1 t is 0 so in between that duration this is 2 minus 10 to minus 3 plus 3 to plus 10 it is 2 so 0 minus 2 minus 2 from minus 10 to minus 3 plus 3 to plus 10 from minus 3 to plus 3 x1 t is 1 from minus 3 to plus 3 x2 t is 2 so in between this duration minus 3 to plus 3 the resultant x1 t minus x2 t is 1 minus 2 which is minus 1 this is minus 1 okay this this point minus 1 so this is the resultant signal x1 t minus x2 t so here we have performed signal addition and modified signal subtraction operations on some signals basic test signals and also random signals so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much